Every up and coming fighter's dream is to have sponsors. To have sponsors to fund their training, to fund their food, to fund their life, so then they can do the sport full time. Because realistically, when you're coming up, you cannot fund fighting from your fights. You're going to need some sort of extra income to pay for your training, pay for your food, pay for your recovery. But how do you actually get these sponsors? Because it's quite hard and it's something that not really people teach. But the perfect scenario is you've got loads of followers, absolutely loads. You've got loads of companies outreaching to your DMs, reaching out to you and you've got loads of offers. But realistically, that is not the case. This is the case once you have made it. Once you're at the top, maybe the top of the UFC, you've got a million followers, you're going to be getting sponsorship opportunities over and over again. But the thing is, you won't need the sponsorships then. You need them now when you're coming up. But how do you get them if you don't have loads of followers? Because it's quite hard. And this is realistically how I have done it personally. But I think it is all down to building a connection. You need to build connections with people. You need to network. That is the main thing with sponsors coming up as a fighter is networking. And you've got to build some sort of relationship with a human being. Because at the end of the day, they are the people that are going to be sponsoring you. So you've got to be decent with people. They're not sponsoring you to get something out of it, really. They're sponsoring you to support you. And... You've got to be honest with them and you've got to build a friendship. That's what most of mine are. I've built friendships and I've not even thought about sponsorship whatsoever. They've just offered it later down the line. But if you build a friendship and you just show your true character, you're much likely or much more likely to get sponsors than if you put a fake persona on. People invest in people. They invest in character and they invest in mindset. So if they can gather from the conversations you had and the time you've had together, your mindset, your character and what you're like as a person, you are much more likely to get someone to invest into you and your career than some randomer online or you putting a story up saying who wants to sponsor me because the fighters, we've probably all done it in the past, we put stories up but me personally, I will not put any more stories on about sponsorships at all, I will do it all through networking and building some sort of connection because that is the best form, I think, of getting sponsors. It's not naggy or anything like that. It's happened in a natural form. But they are, realistically, the reasons or the ways that I have got sponsors. And it's from building a connection, and building a friendship. And that's all it is, really. Because people invest in people. They're not too bothered about the fame and everything like that. They're investing in you, especially as an up-and-coming fighter, because... Realistically, they're not going to get massive amounts from you unless you're getting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, up to a million followers by 20, 30, I meant 50k, 20k, 30k, 40k, 50k and up from there. But they're doing it to help you out because they respect what you're doing as an individual. Now the ideal candidate, candidates, and I think personally they are businessmen because one, they can write it off as tax. And that is a way they can support someone, they can help someone's dream, and they can have it as a tax write-off on their business. As well as that, businessmen, they kind of like the attributes of a fighter. Fighter, they go for their dream, they leave everything behind, they have a plan A and a plan A only. They've got work ethic, and a businessman, they have to have the same sort of values in order to grow their business. So there's kind of a link between the two, and they respect hustle. Because that's what fighting is as a younger age. You've got to hustle in order to get to the top. So businessmen can relate, or woman, if it's a woman, but people that own a business, they can relate to that. And normally, the people that own a business, not always, but they probably get more money than people on salaries. That's not the case, but sometimes it is. And as well as that, ideally, a martial art enthusiastic. They like martial arts they like MMA they like watching it they don't have to train it but if they watch it they're going to have some sort of interest in watching you which is then going to build or help build your connection together and build your friendship a lot more and this one I put in question marks it's not a go-to but from my personal experience they travel and by that I mean they might go to Thailand they might go to America I've got sponsors from traveling and I'll find that the majority of mine I found in Thailand 
and that's because I've gone out from a young age, 17, and they've realised a 17-year-old is by himself. And they've been doing the same, they've been travelling, and that's where they're thinking, why is a 17-year-old come out all by himself just to train? And that is how you kind of get the conversations going, and as they start following you on social media, they start seeing your journey as a whole, and that's when, later down the line, you might build a, a sponsorship. You might build a connection in let's say 2020, I build a connection in 2020, I might not get that sponsor till 2023, just because we we met, we connected, we've networked, we've made friendships, and then they followed my journey, and later down the line, they thought, actually, I respect him, I'm going to sponsor him, so when you meet people at first, they're not just going to be like, here's your money, you've got to build that connection, like I said, building connection and networking be honest and build in a friendship because that is how you realistically get sponsors. But there is other ways. Like I said, put it on your story and people from the local ends might sponsor you a little bit. That is other opportunities or other ways of getting sponsorship. But for me personally, I'm going to say all bar one is from doing this. And it's literally being on my travels and networking abroad with people that are from the UK some people aren't even from the UK but networking building that connection and building trust and then like I said people invest in character they invest in mindset they invest in you so the people that are sponsoring me they are investing in me they trust me because of how I showed myself and how I acted really in front of them but that is how I build sponsors and that is the ideal candidate candidates for potential sponsors. But that's how I do it, because we're built different around these ends. And I'll see you tomorrow. Got this far, you know what to do. Get the subscribe button, click it. Because everyone knows sponsors, they're so hard to get. They're so hard to get as an up-and-comer. Because when I'm there, and I've made it, and I'm getting sponsors left, right and centre, I'll be honest, I won't need them anymore. Because I'll be getting that much money. Whereas when you're at the bottom, that's when you actually need the dough. But it doesn't really work like that. That's life. But I'll see you tomorrow. Bish, bash, bosh, pow!